right, so this is gonna be our next big project. It's this old Murray lawnmower that I use just to cut trails in the woods. And it's got this little 13.5 flathead in it. It's the last of the uh, flatheads. Oh, big block flatheads that Briggs made. And I got this. This is something I found on eBay. I was stalking eBay the other day and I saw this. It was listed for $48. And I'm that was a pretty good price. I would have paid that much for it, but shipping it was like 15 or so. So what I did was I offered the guy 25 and he accepted it. So here we are. This is a turbo for a Saab. I'm pretty sure it's a three liter. And this spins good. I'm pretty sure this is the wastegate. If I'm wrong, please correct me. It's got the oil lines already on it. And this, I could cut it off where it's pinched and put a fuel line on top of this for an electric fuel pump that I have, which I bought for the John Deere, but I think this is better for it. The only issue I really see with it is, A, I don't have all the turbo lines like this one or the oil lines and this one and also one of the exhaust studs broke off but that's no big deal I can work with that and yeah I'm really excited for this I have some parts I'm gonna throw at it at the mower I might shave down the head a little bit. We'll see how uh, far I go with this. I might even have a brand new head gasket for it too. So that'll be cool. I'm hoping I can do this pretty simply. I still want to keep the governor in it because I use this to mow trails. Probably going to keep the stock carburetor on it. If I need to, I have an overhead valve carburetor I could put on here. And I have another flathead carburetor too. And this carburetor's got some adjustments on it. So we're gonna see what we can make here. So, uh, yeah, I'll get to tearing it apart and I'll show you what we find. And hopefully these two bolts don't snap off because that's gonna be a pain. One quick thing, now that the muffler is off, uh, I think we have to see what this thing sounds like in the muffler before the turbo. sound great but I mean it's cool I guess but uh time for the wishy noises also no ex bolts snapped off so that's a huge plus they were close though like here's the one see it's pretty badly rusted all right so I made a little more progress kind of a lot more progress but here we go. So first off, this is what I'm gonna have for my intake. It's an adapter and then a, the Brig and Stratton 90 off an Intec. Like the carb 90 degree thing from an Intec or whatever. And then it goes up to this adapter. And then the turbo is gonna sit on this exhaust flange that I've made. And I, I have to cut it here because I made it too short. It has to be like half an inch higher. So I have a pipe somewhere over here. So this pipe will slide into here and then I can slide the uh, angled piece on top of that that fell on the floor. But the, I can slide the angled piece on top of this to get my uh, distance. And here's the turbo. I made a little flange, it's not great, but it'll work. I found a couple of bolts to mount it with. I drilled out this stud too. So I can put like a little bolt in there. 
then the turbo is going to mount up something like that. And then from there to there, and just have a little bit of silicone pipe or whatever, and we're doing good. This used to be a snorkel on the Craftsman, so I also have this piece that slides into the adapter. I have two more adapters, and uh, this fits in the adapter perfectly. So that's kind of convenient. So once I get my extension in, then we can pretty much plumb up the turbo if I can find some supplies around here and then we can fare our oiling system and I mean we're doing pretty good do a little bit of maintenance on this motor because it's been sitting for a couple months out there yeah we're really close but I'm thinking done for tonight tomorrow oh I also took the wastegate off that's right here and then the actual wastegate itself is right here I'll probably keep it, put it back on just so it keeps tension and holds boost pressure. Because when it's resting like this, it keeps the wastegate closed, so all the boost the turbo makes, the motor gets. Maybe in the future I'll have a more uh, different system. But for now, this works. And I gotta make an exhaust flange and figure out where that's gonna go. So, yeah, also an air filter. I don't know where we're going to put that, but somewhere, hopefully. But, yeah, turbo. I'm liking it. I also have to make a mount for the turbo because this little pipe is very strong. And I need to get the two bolts for this pipe. So, yeah, it's a long list, but it's going to be an easy list. So... I'm happy with this, so hopefully tomorrow we can make some uh, turbo noises. All right, so now I have this exhaust side all done with the flange welded on. There's a couple of little pinholes, but I'm not super worried about them. So now, I just wanna fire it up to get all the stuff out of that exhaust pipe that I can't reach and like get out with my hand. And we can see what it sounds like before turbo. Now I think it's time to install that turbo. And for a gasket, in the future I'll probably order the Saab gasket, actually. So I thought I had high temperature silicone, but I don't. So I'll have to use this instead, a uh, muffler and tailpipe sealer. All right, so that should work good. We also have to figure out an oiling system for this turbo. Actually, before I install it, I wanted to see how I want to run this oil system. So I'll be back when I figure that out. All right, so at this point, there's a lot going on here. So everything's technically connected except for the oiling system, but we don't technically need that. But here's the 90 degree off the Briggs & Tech. Here's an adapter to fit this pipe back to down to another adapter to this BMW radiator hose to an adapter to the turbo. In the future, I just want this adapter with this pipe with a 90 on it, and then this turbo with a 90 on it, and they'll be at the right spot, so I just have one little piece in the middle, and not have all this. 
and the exhaust it's all hooked up i have some uh that gasket maker on here it's hard enough let's see if this thing will make some turbo noises i'll move the camera so you can see hopefully the turbo a little bit here it is nothing So I have to reinstall this wastegate real quick, which is only two bolts and a C-clip. But even just with the pressure of my hand holding it closed, it made boost really quickly. So let's see what we're looking like once this is installed. All right, let's try it now. I don't know if you guys can tell, but at normal RPMs, this thing runs pretty good. But once you uh, override the governor, it spools up and gives it way too much boost, and then it needs way more fuel for that boost. So, yeah, that's kind of the problem I'm running into right now. But at normal RPMs, this thing works good. Now I gotta figure out an oiling, oiling system for this turbo. And I mean, then we're golden pretty much. So for the oiling system, I have this electric fuel pump I bought for the John Deere. Never installed it on the John Deere just cause I haven't felt like doing it yet. But this is gonna work as my oil pump. And if I come on to the other side, I have this ATF bottle. This can act as your gauge and it can sit right here. And then I have a nipple I can put in here with JB Weld. Then the return line, just go back into the lid for now. In the future, I have all this room to plug or put in a fitting. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So uh, I think I'll get started on that and then go from there. All right, so at this point I have the Oil pump mounted with some hoses uh, on. So 
unfortunately, I was just going to have this be the main hose, block off the other two, and have an exit here. But this doesn't connect with the other two, so those aren't going to be oiled. So right now, I'm making a plate for this to have a hose come off of it. So right now, the oil tank is mounted over here. This is where the oil is going to come out of. It's going to connect to this hose, go through the pump, into the turbo, and come out of this line. This line is going to go loop around and connect to this hole, and then that's going to come out down there. And then that is going to loop around back to the oil catch can. It's just going to keep circulating. This pump's wired up. It's all good to go. Um, I ordered uh, this fitting for down here, and this one is getting made right now. For that, I have this plate I found, and then I'm siliconing this fuel line to it, and then I'm going to JB weld over top of this. I'll do that tomorrow. And then for the oil tank, I JB welded this uh, nipple. It has threads on the end of it, and it's JB welded. And here's my uh, level for the turbo. And then, I mean, once that's all together, I mean, then I could make an exhaust for it or just test it. I mean, it's... Honestly, it's about as loud as it was before right now. Maybe even a little quieter. I can't really tell. But. Oh, and I definitely have to take the carburetor apart and clean it because it's not running good. I don't want to replace these fuel lines because they're all old. And then maybe a new fuel filter. And then take this thing on a nice little mowing run. See how good it is. Also have to figure out an air filter. I don't have a whole lot of clearance in there, but we're just going to run it without one for now. I have brand new spark plug. I might throw it at it too. And then, I mean, we're cruising now. This exhaust, it doesn't have that many leaks. And this turbo, it spools up at almost an idle. I mean, it's doing really good. So I think for today, I'll pull that carburetor apart and clean it. And maybe replace the fuel lines. So I'll be back when that's done. All right, so I cleaned the carburetor, which was a little bit dirty, but nothing too crazy. And I got all new fuel lines on it. I need to go in there and zip tie some wires up, but that'll be two seconds. And before, if you remember when I bypassed the governor and wrapped it way up, it would stall out pretty much. Well, I'm kind of thinking, because I just looked back at the footage I had, and before, without the turbo on, just this uh, exhaust, you can see when I revved it up and backed off, it backfired. I'm saying that spools the turbo up a lot more than just normal revving it. And then as it's trying to wind back down, it's getting a whole bunch of boost shoved in it. So I'm saying that's probably why it's trying to shut off. So, I mean, I'm not super worried about it. Well, just normal mowing at normal speed, it'll be fine. But I'm just saying that's probably why it's stalling out. I don't know. Or just might be my original thing is it revs up too high, makes too much boost, and the carburetor can't keep up with it and it just shuts off. Either way, I'm not super, super worried about it. I don't want to go and drill it in jets. Oh, also, I put a cankerous breather filter on here, just something quick. But once these parts, oil parts get in, I'm, I can run this thing, like, a lot. So I'm excited for that. So stay tuned. All right, so that's going to be it for this episode. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, I'm gonna you're going to see me take this thing in the trails and mow a little bit. And then, I don't know, see what else happens. You'll have to wait and see. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.